when there's something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here with my best friend, Saran Reyes J. Hello. And the two of us are gonna be here to review Ghostbusters the 2016 remake. So Ghostbusters 2016 is written and directed by Paul Feig. He's the same guy that brought you movies like Bridesmaids, The Heat, and Spy. And the film stars Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, and Chris Hemsworth. So Ghostbusters is about Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, and Kate McKinnon. You know, they're these paranormal enthusiasts. You know, they like to study the paranormal stuff. And Leslie Jones, she was, she's a subway worker until she discovers a ghost, so Leslie Jones Jones. She joins in the team of the Ghostbusters, so it's up to them to see what's going on and just basically save the world. It's just plain and simple that way. This movie has been gained a whole lot of controversy. Indeed. Like, the first trailer of Ghostbusters is now the most disliked trailer on YouTube. There was a lot of controversy about this and how if you don't like this movie, then you're a misogynist and all that. I just want to make this perfectly clear before me and Saraj J say our thoughts on this movie, you guys. Whether we both like or don't like this movie, it's not because we're misogynists. I actually like the fact that this is an all-female Ghostbusters. I like that they're changing it up. So we're not misogynists or anything. We're here to give our own honest opinion. So yes, when it comes to the 1984 original Ghostbusters film, I love that film. It's a classic. I think it's great. Um, Ghostbusters 2, I thought was just an okay sequel. Personally, it still had fun moments, but I just don't think it's as good as the original. And when it comes to this remake, um, honestly, if you guys have been following my channel, I haven't really been looking forward to this remake. In fact, I've been getting less and less interest in the remake the more I watch these trailers. The marketing for this film hasn't really been doing it justice, in my opinion. But with all that being said, you guys, with me not looking forward to this one, honestly, I have to be honest, I was actually surprised by the 2016 remake. I actually really enjoyed this movie, to be honest. Um, how'd you feel about the remake? I, uh, the, it wasn't too bad. I did enjoy it, the remake. Yeah, definitely, uh, when it comes to my pauses with the remake, one of the things I definitely have to say is that I actually really liked Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Leslie Jones, and Kate McKinnon. I thought all of them worked very well together as this generation of the Ghostbusters team. They all had very good chemistry. I thought, for the most part, they all had very good comedic timing. And you could tell when you watch them on screen that they're having a lot of fun. I thought visually, you know, when they're out Ghostbusting, those scenes were really cool. You don't really get more of those scenes until once you get to the climax. It's kind of like with the original films basically, but really when you get to the big climactic moment in the film, it's honestly very exciting for me. There's a couple of funny moments during the climax as well that I really liked, but definitely I have to say that when they're blasting, those are my favorite parts visually because I thought the blasting looked exactly how they should look like from when Bill Murray and the rest would shoot after the ghosts in the original movies. Yeah. So I thought that was a very nice touch. And the designs of the ghosts, I thought they looked wow. I was actually quite blown away by the visuals of the ghosts because I thought the designs of them were all very cool. That was cool that we saw Slimer here. Mm. That's a nice little nostalgia thing from the originals they added here that I really liked. And then I'm not gonna spoil the cameos, but the cameos, even though I'm pretty sure some of you might know about them anyways, but not going to spoil it just in case for those that don't. But I actually thought the cameos, for the most part, I'll get into one particular one later on, I actually thought they were all handled very well. And it was just really nice, you know, they were just nice cameos. I thought Paul Feig did a really good job directing the movie. You could tell that he had a lot of passion just bringing us this world of the Ghostbusters. And this is someone that's known for making R-rated movies like 
Bridesmaids the Heat and Spy. So for him to make a PG-13 comedy, I think is honestly very interesting and I really like that. And the comedy, I was actually laughing a lot when it honestly came to the comedy in my opinion as well. I thought a good amount of humor honestly really worked for me. And there were nice nods from the original Ghostbusters that I actually really liked that they added in this movie. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth, wow, he made me laugh so hard. He really stole the show as the receptionist because of how stupid he is. He's so freaking stupid. <laughs> he just put it there, so you never met a person who's more stupid than the average stupidest person ever. You, you question why they even still kept him. But yeah, I thought Chris Hemsworth did a really good job. It just makes me want to see Chris Hemsworth in more comedic movies because obviously he's known more for the Marvel movies, but when you see him in something like this, it's honestly a breath of fresh air. And every scene that Chris Hemsworth was in had me dying of laughter, especially when Melissa McCarthy and them were interviewing him. <laughs> Especially that scene. Oh my god. Well, I was explaining my friend here like what was gonna be the good things like it should be of uh, the remake since you know our famous One of our famous actor has passed away. Yeah, Harold Ramis. Yes. Yeah I was surprised like how are they gonna do it without him until like they put it and told They're gonna do like an all-female cats and I thought that would be like good. Right? If they do that's good. I was um Surprise how they put everything up together like from the beginning to end like even the ghost from detail to detail even for the What's it? even for the machine like the devices they're using the cat catch ghosts. I like oh, that oh, oh, yeah, the tech that they had were very cool. Yeah, like, everything like from They had done from the beginning to end. That was really good. You can say they upgraded everything Oh, from yeah, the, from the originals Oh yeah, definitely. My two favorite cast on that one is, uh, what's her name, that that tall chick? Oh, you're, are you talking about Leslie Jones? Yes. The, the, all the subway worker. Yeah, the subway yeah, worker. Yeah, yeah, she was really funny. I, I, really I like her. her. Yeah. She was funny in this one. Yeah, and I wasn't expecting to like her because the chairs made, me, made it look like she was going to be annoying. But when I watched her in the film, I was like, oh wow, she was actually really good and she definitely had moments of making me laugh. Mm -hmm. The other... Who was inventing, the, like one of the glasses, yeah, though. Uh, it's always inventing it. Like, uh, she, Kate, Kate McKinnon. Yeah, her ass. Her. I think she was sexy when she was talking all technical stuff. That oh, was, yeah. That was a kick for me, like, they were, how, like the way they think she's, like, normal. Oh, yeah, and then she just has this wacky personality. Yeah, that, that, made, my, <laughs> like, that made the movie more perfect as it is for this remake. And now, as far as what I didn't like about the remake, I did feel like for the first 20 minutes, I thought the comedy was honestly really falling flat. I thought it took a while for me to actually get my first laugh out of this movie like I may have chuckled a couple of times in the first 20 minutes but I was kind of watching it going oh man I hope the comedy gets better because it's really not starting off good and luckily the comedy does get better there's I would say there's more funny moments in like the second act of the Ghostbusters because the humor just kind of slowed down when we get to third act but I'm fine with that because the third act was more like an action-packed fun ride and I really like that aspect but yeah, I did feel like when it comes to the first 20 minutes, and sometimes in uh, for the rest of the movie, I did feel like the comedy could have been better. It did kind of slow down maybe like by 10 to 15 minutes. It did feel a little dragged in my opinion. The antagonist of the movie, I thought he was very weak to be honest. His only motivation was that he was bullied, but they didn't really explore until like his past he just mentions that he was bullied and that's all we knew about the villain and i will say even though i love the climax how the climax even begins without spoiling anything it did feel kind of random it felt really out of nowhere for me of course there is a cliche of like everyone not believing in like the ghostbusters like they thinking they're crazy and all that yeah. it was like then the original films too except um i was i could get past that but in this one it was a little more bothersome to me just because everyone was like being a coward or they were being just plain old douchebags to put it <laughs> simple you know i mentioned earlier how there was a cameo i didn't like and i'm not gonna spoil what the cameo is you're gonna know what i'm talking about but it's the cameo with the hat and the glasses oh okay yeah yes. like i like the actor trust me it was nice to see him but 
I just something about the cameo didn't really feel right. Like all the other cameos felt like they wanted to be in this remake. But yeah, when it came to this cameo, I just got the impression he didn't want to really be in the movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, were there any flaws you had with the movie personally? Uh, basically, it was like with the villain. I I expect something like more of like why he has been bullied, like you said. Like explore more into him. Yeah, like for me, I thought they should at least have like some kind of flashback for him. Yeah, I think what, flashback would have worked. Yeah, like some like even though I would interrupt the whole movie and the whole storyline for it, but like like most movies, there was there was always a flash. Not always, but here and there, there's some like some kind of flashback. Yeah. And this one, they didn't put like some kind of flashback for him. They only flashback they had for him was just like pictures of the places that he used to be working at and what the environment what he used to be working at yeah and it showed like why like he became the top villain but it didn't show like who were, was bullying him back then like when he was growing up or work, even for working no matter of fact yeah that yeah that's a good point because like i said he just really mentions it but that's yeah. all we really get about him yeah so they should add like stuck more into that little movie, like that little part there for him. Yeah. So they made it. It would have made more like understandable for him. Like even though most people didn't like him, because like what he was planning to doing. But they they probably would understand that they would add the the flashback for him. You know why he became this and under like started building all these machines. Yeah. And devices like to conquer the earth, basically. Yeah, like, that makes sense. Earth or part starting barely starting out New York. I actually enjoyed the remake of the song, the the remake they did with the song. Oh, oh, Fall Out Boy's too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the way they did the remake of the song. They, you can say, funked it up a little bit. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. I I also like that just in the beginning of the movie they did play the original theme from the 1984 yes. movie like just briefly in the beginning when yeah. they show the title. That was actually very nice that they did that. Yeah. Did you like the new uh, the? Oh, 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 the, um, the 3D looking ghost logo, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the 3D Ghostbusters logo, that looked very cool as yeah. well. I really liked that. Like, it's like it's still the same logo we know from the originals, yeah. but it's more 3D. Like, it yeah. pops out more. Yeah. So, overall, you guys, in my humble opinion, I really enjoyed the 2016 Ghostbusters remake. Um, of course, it's not as good as the original film, but it doesn't have to be because this is a new take on the Ghostbusters it stands on its own but it pays homage to the original like they acknowledge that the original films are there you know yeah. I thought Melissa McCarthy Leslie Jones Kristen Wiig and Kate McKinnon they all worked very well together yeah. I thought they were great as the female Ghostbusters I really liked the visuals the visuals were just so good and I thought Paul Feig did a really good job writing directing this film Chris Hemsworth was freaking hysterical the movie just looks great cinematography wise as well and honestly yeah I came out of this movie pleasantly surprised I wasn't expecting to like this movie but I do come in the movies open-minded hoping I will like it and I ended up liking this one so for me I'm gonna give Ghostbusters 2016 three out of four stars and I'll give it for my rating 4.5 out of 5 well, you guys, that's our review for Ghostbusters 2016. I want to thank my best friend, Sarah J, for joining me in this review. You're welcome. Anytime. So, you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Ghostbusters 2016. And actually, be honest, don't let the whole controversy scare you or anything. <laughs> We're all going to have different opinions. So, actually, be honest. Let me know what you actually thought of the remake. This is Twain to Tiger Dude here with... Burrito Man. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, yeah, Saran Reyes J. <laughs> and don't forget that the both of us will always have... Ghostbusters! Power! Darn. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and tiger power. Sweet.